smile on his face, wasn't there? The winner to play Argentina in the final, and it's Fiji against New Zealand, and we are underway in the semi off the boot of Waisea Nothungu. It's brought down by New Zealand's captain, Sam Dixon, and immediately they spread wide to the veteran Dylan Collier, and Regan Weir has somehow just held on to that for New Zealand, but Fiji got hands all over it. First lift. My Samoa. And Nathunga will tap and go, and this well, he was in the wrong spot. No way Malia was onside. There's too many bodies, I can't see the tap. Referee couldn't see the tap. You have to you take it from behind there. But there's, there's a ruck Scrum. penalty. One hundred and fourteenth meeting between the teams. Forty-five semi-finals. For so long, these two teams been paving the way in the game Crunch. of sevens. Very contrasting styles. Bind. Both of them delighting the fans. Set. New Zealand on a five-game winning streak, but it's Fiji who will start hot on attack here. As it's very cleverly tunnelled back out through the legs. As Fiji get to attack. The New Zealand line through Manueli Maisamoa up over the 22. Rush can't get hands on it, but he's made a nuisance of it. It's just fallen back for Fiji here. Under the attention of Brady Rush as Muthanir Thungi was a clever ball. And now they come wide to Bucky Runninger. It's gone backwards. They've lost 30, 35, 40 odd metres here, Fiji. Oh, that's ball out. Yeah, you heard the call from New Zealand. And Collie has got a track up the middle. He has Rokoli Sowa with him, who's going to accelerate away here. And against the run of play, New Zealand's Aquila Rokoli Sowa scores. Well, Fiji were going the wrong way. That doesn't necessarily always mean a bad thing for them. They just got loose at the ruck. The ball exposed at the back. Molia to Collier. And then it was Rokoli Sowa. Coming through for another. Closing in on the New Zealand try record. 47 in a season is the New Zealand season try scoring record. 1999-2000 season, season scored by the one Carl Tenana. He's coming for you, KT. Uh, just make sure you're not in front of the line, OK? Not fully so are up to 43 tries for the season. us back underway seven points to nil New Zealand leading as Nathuru is held in the air held aloft Fiji look to press away again here it's a nice ball from Tuai to Ratu Manueli my Samoa it's been a real war horse for them this season Nathungu so dangerous and clever Player down and back plate for Fiji as Mothin Ifangi loses his feet, slowly getting back into play. And there he is, the man who was slow to get up, Wallace Aliso. And a penalty for New Zealand. Away goes Carter. Rush. And kept on ice all day yesterday. And then the offloads are sticking for New Zealand. Carter can't find a way through as able to get up, go again. And no clear release against Fiji, so New Zealand playing under advantage. Over. Collier for the corner, and Collier will stride in for New Zealand second. Dylan Collier getting over for New Zealand. It, just a case in the end of putting it through the hands. And a little acceleration. The put down from Dylan Collier. Fiji. Time off, please. But it all please. came earlier on in the He's piece, ten seconds. just disrupting the Fiji on attack on. once again. From out wide this time, the conversion for Okoli Sora, and that's going to stay wide. 12 points to nil, New Zealand leading in the semi-final. Winner to play Argentina. Fiji holding on to a bit of ball, but they're just not quite having the bite. Just look a little bit sluggish with their work. And New Zealand on the other hand looking ruthless when they get it. Again's going to hang up and oh, Nathuru 
couldn't hold on to it and he was brought safely to ground by his teammate but more position here for New Zealand just piling forward and Rockley saw it just so full of confidence so full of running looking for a man on his shoulder finds it in the form of Collier but my Samoa has stolen that back didn't release and can't take it in front of the five everybody's playing with a bit of intensity as you'd expect in a semi-final more well, Leah, big cutout ball for Dixon, roaming wide. The chop back and field through one, and then, oh, losing it over the line. Knock on. No try, Ball's knocked forward. Yeah, Dixon. Worth checking Pancho for a strip. Oh, Dixon's saying he's ripped it out. Time off. Uh, Jimmy, just check and try yes or no, please. Just check it wasn't stripped by the Fiji player. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that the I'm not going to make a decision call, Tom Mitchell? <laughs> Let's just listen to the referee, shall we? And I have a decision? Yeah. Knock on by Black. OK, no try, knock on. Well, there was certainly Nathungu's hand on it, but it was a, a bit loose from Dixon. Uh, step back, please. If we'd agree, we'd agree with the referee, which we will. Step back, please. Step back, please. Come up, yeah, right. smart from Dixon not going for the corner. Opting to step back in, but uh, knee off the ground. The Gians are actually specialists at knocking that ball out. Crump. They're so good at it in the tackle. They identify where that ball is and dislodge Find. so well. Set. New Zealand got away with one in their quarter final against France. France had a conversion to tie us up and send it to Golden Point, but the clock timed out on them. It was now. Fiji try and scoot away through Sautoranga who is smashed into the ground by Regan Ware somehow able to get the ball back. Oh, shots coming in left, right and centre. You can hear the collision of bodies. New Zealand rugged and physical forcing Fiji into mistakes and Ware too much on the kick ahead. 22 Oscar. Uh, you can, I didn't see a high tackle. You can wow, have a scrum here or 22 power. dropout. Regan Ware Options, getting that shoulder placement just about bang on. Unfortunately, too much power in his footwork as well as he towed it through. Okay. I'll ask you. Come here, please. Oh, there she goes. I was about to say, it's very rare you see a Fijian fan not smiling, even when Crouch. They're not winning. There she goes. Bind. Set. Getting towards half time, Fiji really would like to strike. Stay the ball for. So, why, yeah, Rokoli Sawa went four offside. Ever so slightly too early. No chance for Fiji to break out from inside their own area. And another penalty, New Zealand. Look at Rush. Just an intensity, uh, hunger and desire in this New Zealand team. I think Fiji are trying to find some direction and trying to make some incisions in the Kiwi defensive okay, line, but every time they're just meeting brick walls. Tap and go for Rokali Soa Carter. Cut out ball, finds Mulia on the right edge, loses his footing as well now. He might lose position here too, so it's going to go back on Fiji's okay, side and they'll play on, the on with a penalty and they will want to get rolling here Fiji this is where they are at their most lethal but again New Zealand swarming on defense chip ahead there's nobody back there for New Zealand in fact it's Dixon who has to make it through please for an obstruction and back play but position New Zealand and they still want to play on deep into this extra time in the half New Zealand 12-0 Rokoli so a little double pump for Molia again this time coming together with Bati Raringa. Alisa Liso coming at him as well. Regan Weir to a skipper. Fen Fen and bumping off and trying to go right through over the top and through the middle. And that one slapped down now and again it breaks to Fiji and then a chance to break out here. Satoranga, Collier coming at him, Carter rounding on upon him as well. The offload is brilliant, as is the footwork by Samoa, by Samoa for the post. And he goes in deep into extra time in the first half. Get up, wave those flags. Because that is special for Fiji. 
They spoil it. Back down in their own half. And it was Saturanga, desperate for some support men. And it came in the form of Mai Samoa, who gritted his teeth under the attentions of Carter. But he got there, and could that score be an important one in the context of this game? Uh, both teams played on, and it was Fiji who won out 12 points to seven. It's New Zealand leading at half time. As Nakila Rokolisoa Sowa gets us underway, we'll go straight down to one of the New Zealand squad members, Moses Leo. You're in one here, Moses. How are you going watching on at the moment? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's nerve-wracking always watching and uh, sitting on the sideline, always got itchy feet. But um, the boys are doing well, um, sticking to our structures on D and I think just on attack, just need to hold on to that ball and finish our opportunities a, a bit more efficiently. Moses, it's Mitch. I uh, just want to ask you a quick question about the squad balance. There's a few young guys, a few old boys in the team. You're kind of in the middle somewhere. How does that work with the old and the new? Um, you know, we um, train against each other uh, week in, week out, and um, when we're not in tournaments. So, you know, the team's got a lot of depth, and anyone that steps on the field and puts on their black jersey, we trust them 100%. So it's not really like a hierarchy in terms of age, but it's uh, everyone's equal, and everyone um, uh, has got the ability to... Uh, serve this juicy well. Look, we'll let you get back to it. It's uh, pretty tense at the moment. We appreciate your time, Moses. Thanks for having me. Moses Leo as Jerry Tuai goes up the middle. I like that. Young boy's got no difference for the old fellas. No hierarchy in this team at the moment. They're having to defend hard. Here goes my Samoa speaking of running hard. And then Marcy and then Wallace Aliso slips out of the tackle, leaving New Zealand. Defenders in his way. Bola Wallis Soliso goes in. Well, it's been a party all weekend so far. But there's no one who plays like these boys. Wallis Soliso slams it down and salutes the skies. For Fiji to go in front. No problem at all, slides that one over, and it's Fiji 14, New Zealand 12. The big, big frame of Wally Soliso. Loving what they see from their team. And Fungu drives this one down long into New Zealand's 22, where it's collected by Scott Curry into the action. Here goes Carter, Leroy Carter. Finds Collier, clatters into the Fiji defence. Batiraringa stands firm. And it's messy Rocking and is a penalty. Ago. Curry had to. Leave that one alone. Okuli so is going to back himself around the outside here. Able to go again. Curry stayed on the shoulder. And he drives his way up towards the Fiji 22. It's a good surge from New Zealand forward. Carter for Rush. Brady Rush, big wide ball. Looming out here for Regan Ware. Shopping back and field. And it's Regan Ware who responds for New Zealand. Well, that is them having to kick up the backside and responding with some serious play of their own. What footwork from Regan Ware. Wow, seen that so many times over his career. He's had a big workload this weekend, Regan Ware, and he's really fronted up. Version from wide is no good, so it's New Zealand marginally in front now. 17-14 with three to play. How good is this? We knew it was going to be like this, didn't we? Time off, please. Talked about the rivalry between these two. two. Wait, please. It's been You've building for years, and it's still going strong. That's 12. Okay. Thank you. Time on.
properly so it sends this pinpoint down 11 meters but it's dragged in beautifully by fiji fresh legs onto the field for both teams now and a must see for fiji getting that return ball New Zealanders, three defenders all over him, can't get hands on the ball though, it's protected nicely from the Thunu to work his magic. Here's the speedster, Nanduvalo, New Zealand need to hold on to him, they knew it and they did. The Thunu as they come back out into the open here. Fiji flying forward, Longan and Masi, the long limbed 18 stands, bounces, oh just kind enough for Fiji. Mickelson though in there and stealing it back, the veteran play. Timing on. Simultaneous, thank you. It's as Jimmy wanted someone in the bin. Throwing the ball. Oh, what a turnover. Long and Massey would have been better off not Option doing the these. gathering guard, I think, and just okay, time off. laying it back because he had the clearer there on the first one. Brady Rushes has taken a knock to the shoulder there. New Zealand, yeah, everyone <laughs> taking some pretty big deep breaths. The You're going to tap, okay. <laughs> Time on, holding on. The unscripted drama of sport leaving everyone on the edge of their seats. New Zealand try and work a set move here. And away goes Xavier Tito Harris. The 18-year-old steams forward. Curry's just not that backward and eventually it's gone off New Zealand hands and now two wide. Scooping it up, Fiji open it there for Mickelson. Throwing it away, back and forth we go. Cook Savage. As New Zealand get a reprieve, Molia. Oh, what a pass for Tito Harris, tried to drop it on the boot, missed it all, and now it's Fiji ball. The crowd roaring, New Zealand stretched. Nanduvalo, the offload, Mickelson loses his feet. The pickup's unbelievable, the tackle's outstanding as well. Mickelson can't quite steal it for New Zealand, penalty. And away go Fiji, Nanduvalo. Crashes over, and with 30 seconds to play, Fiji go back in front. Well, there's a bit of art this, but what a ridiculous game the game of sevens is. That is an unreal bit of sporting action we've just been treated to here in London. It was back and forth and back and forth. Both teams having a crack. The kick is injured, guys. And in the end, it was here, it was penalty time, and it was a quick cap. Hey, was that and Andy Barlow took it upon himself to finish it off. Some of the passes, some of the pickups from both teams okay, throughout that passage, but this man, he you scored tries for fun since clock. joining yeah. the so World Series. As soon as I put time on, you have to kick it. Understand? That one, important. Okay. Time on. Conversion's no good. There's time for a restart, and there's two points in it. Do not take your eyes off this. Time off, this is some of the best action you'll see in the world of sport. Time off. New Zealand okay, need the ball to have a chance. Time is up on the clock as Nathungu just bangs us long. They will get some possession here. Oh, as Curry loses his feet and then throws an awkward ball for Cook Savage, who does well. In front of their own goalpost, New Zealand need to go 100 metres to win it. Tito Harris. Shay Clark out there, Tito Harris, ball back in field for Mickelson. Fiji scrambling, desperate to get to a final, and then a massive ball is floated. Rokolisa has got 60, 50, 40 metres in front of them. The support runners are there. Scott Curry, he goes back in field, around the corner, keeps his feet. Scott Savage, has he been cleared out? Ball's going to go dead. What's the call? Oh. And Fiji go through.
through to the final. There are players scattered all over Twickenham's turf. A quite extraordinary end to an extraordinary match. Scott Curry, shake of the head, New Zealand. Threw everything at it at the end. They wanted the call, thought Cook Savage was taken out after the kick had gone through, but Fiji, it has been a long, hard season for this wonderful group of players, and they will get to play a final in London. Could this be the one for them? They fought, they scrapped, and they delivered.